Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I have been joined by Josh. Hello. And yes guys, we are two days late, I admit it. Um, down to work, I've been getting in so late that uh, yeah, it just wasn't possible guys to get this giveaway done. I did originally promise on the 10th, then I said oh well we'll give it to the 11th and it's ended up being the 12th. I do apologise to everybody who has entered. But we're there now. Josh is paused and ready, aren't you, Josh? Mm -hmm. Yep, so we'll get that bit out of the way and then I'm going to have a little conversation with Josh on video about his opinions on the Evercade, guys. So the prize that is up is this one. It is the... Oh, sorry, Josh, I'm covering your face. It is the uh, Pico collection, guys. Now, this is literally oh, a fantastic collection. It has 20 games on it. There we are. Obviously for the Evercade. It is uh, brand new and sealed, guys. Yeah, so this is brand new. And it could be yours if you are picked. Yeah, fantastic. There you go. You can see the games that are on there. So yeah, fantastic collection, guys. This is literally one of the best cartridges on the Evercade at the moment. Obviously, another four have now been announced, including the... Uh, Fantastic one. I've got one Dizzy Games on it. Yay. Can't wait for that one, guys. That's going to be a doozy in the Lynx games. So, right. Shall we do this? Get this over with, Josh, mm -hmm. shall we? So I'm not jabbering on too much. Let's find out who has won this brand new copy of Pico Collection. That's going to and who is it? Wow. Oh, that is wicked, isn't it? It's the Fat Ugly Toad you won. I can't believe it, fella. Absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, I know your state side, but I will get it to you. Come hell or high water, Toad, I will get it to you. I tell you what, me and him have got such a fantastic friendship. It is awesome. Literally, literally. I mean, we might be, you know, other ends of the bloody world. But we have got a fantastic friendship. I can't believe he's just won that. I'm so pleased for you, Todd. I really, really am. Um, yeah, I will get that to you, fella, no matter what. Now you're going to have to buy yourself an Evercade, aren't you? You know you are. You're going to have to get yourself one because you're going to want to play this, aren't you? Isn't it, Josh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, congratulations to Fat Ugly Todd. Or should I say the Fat Ugly Todd Show because he's got a YouTube channel, guys, and it is awesome. It is so bloody funny. I'll tell you what, he has me in stitches. Um, oh, and he covers all the plug-in and play uh, consoles that are out and about. And uh, I think he's got them all, to be fair. I mean, um, I collect them as well. But Christ, I'd like to have the amount he has because he's got some doozies, some really unusual ones. Um, but yeah, if you're into some fantastic comedy mixed with gaming and God knows what else. I mean, survival chat and oh whatever get over to him and have a look at his channel the fat ugly toad show guys it's brilliant i can't believe you want it guy but you did so there you go get yourself an evercade mm, highly recommended there so anyway josh put down the gpd xd plus there we are right we want to talk a little bit oh i want to talk to you a little bit because i know you've been having a little flit on the evercade haven't you on yeah. this gorgeous bloody thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing. It's what you need to get toward one of these. So, Josh, what are your opinions on this as a younger generation playing on what is basically a retro handheld, even though it's new to the market? Um, what have, has been your impressions of it so far? Um, it's uh, good. Yeah. I think what it is um, for old folk like me, we like the fact that, yeah, we're getting to play some of the top games from publishers that we remember from being younger. And it's all on this 
little cartridge <laughs> that looks like a Neo Geo cartridge. And then having the boxes, which are these clamshell, obviously, a bit like a Mega Drive Master System game, and fantastic. And the little booklet, an actual booklet, Josh. Mm -hmm. I mean, how I like often? Those. Yeah, how often does that happen? Because it days? actually tells you how to play the games. Yeah, it tells you how to play the games. Plus, of course, it has a little bit of information about each publisher in there. Which uh, is fantastic. The work that goes into those books is brilliant. So yeah, you've you've had a pretty good go on it. So how do you think it handles? Uh, it's uh nice. It is, isn't it? It's got some really nice controls, and since the update, they're actually even better. The controls are now what we always wanted them to be, really. Because uh, anybody who's played on a Mega Drive and a SNES and what have you for years and years had a certain way that the buttons were laid out. And of course, when the Evercade was its first firmware was launched, it, it didn't have that. But they've done an update, and uh, Josh here updated it for me, didn't he? In two seconds flat. I mean, literally, it was so easy, wasn't it, to do? It was incredible. Um, and it's now. It's as easy, but you can do it yourself. Yeah, I mean, what? Yeah, it was that easy. I could have done it myself. If I wouldn't have been able to look at the screen, the writing on the screen. Yeah. It was very simple, but I couldn't bloody read it could i mm. oh seriously uh so yeah so josh did it for me and <laughs> it literally it took two minutes to yeah. do it was so simple they have the steps on their website yeah they have all the steps on the website don't they everything's laid out for you to get that done yeah. so yeah it's definitely highly recommended to do that if you want the buttons to be the way you remember them to be for these games so yeah obviously as i say appeals to me for that reason It'll appeal to Josh even more as time goes on because more indie games are going to come to it. Um, and he's slowly making his way through the library. There's only 10 cartridges at the moment. And I'm oh, still missing two of them. Um, but yeah, he's making his way through it and he's, he's going to find some gems. I mean, I've found some gems. I mean, I haven't played all those games in all the years I've been playing. You know, there's still games that creep up on these cartridges that I've never, ever yeah. played before and i'm finding them to be doozies you know really really like tanza oh my god is that game good that's fantastic fantastic game but yes guys so there you go the young generation likes it and the old farts like me like it too so let's see what these four new titles are going to bring to us eh? more joy guys more mm. joy that's what it's going to bring yeah so yeah Dizzy, dizzy, all seven dizzies, wow, don't you think that's just awesome? Yeah. Mm. And they're going to give all the proceeds to charity, literally to, uh, I think it's the Video Game Museum or something that the money's going to go to. So yeah, brilliant, it's going to be a doozy guys. So anyway, there you go, congratulations again Fat Ugly Toad, you absolute star you, and uh, yeah, and we'll see you in the next one guys, won't we Josh? Didn't really talk a lot about it, did he? But at least he gave his opinion, didn't you? Yeah. There we go, guys. So we'll see you in the next one. I'll see you off videos in. Tschüss and goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you soon.